Hi, this is Jevin of Blue Jeff Reviews here to check out the PC version of Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. It came out a couple of days ago and it's on sale in on Steam right now. So uh, let me just take a look at the options menu. Uh, one thing you should know that uh, the PC port is very good. The only problem is that the mouse control is is not very good and mouse control does mouse control in the menu doesn't work. So I'm using a gamepad for this, which is I think recommended for a game like this. So anyway, um, I'm very surprised at how well this game runs on my machine. My mine is uh, practically a G four six six Ti. Uh, so you know that the the, the uh, basically the as of this recording is running on a, my my current setup uh, G four six six Ti and a uh, Core i seven three seven seven zero. So the graphics option. This is what I'm running at. Yeah. Uh, only the basically most of it is extra high, and the only settings that I turned down is the screen filtering and the screen space and ambient occlusion, which is what Nvidia recommend for my card. And if I think yeah, it runs very well. It runs at a smooth sixty frames per second. Uh, hardly any frame rate dips. As I'm also I'm recording this at sixty, so you can see the how is it like. So um. Basically, uh, Metal Gear, if uh, Ground Zeroes uh at the time was criticized. Because it was very short, the game can be completed in like less than two hours. I finished it in like seventy three minutes. This mission, the main Ground Zeroes mission, and this is me watching all the cutscenes. Yep, but uh, and the second time I beat it through, I beat it in half an hour. But uh, the value, the value of the game, I believe, comes from more of this uh, side ops and the the the, the other mission called the the extra ops, which were previously exclusive missions for like. One mission was exclusive for the PS4, and the other one was exclusive for the Xbox One. Now on the PC, I think you when you unlock when you find all the this, what call it XOF patches or something, you will, you will, uh basically you will unlock that to both both missions. So uh let me see if I can, let me just show you this, the cutscene the cutscene that's gonna be following this is gonna be very long. So. Uh, probably gonna skip it and just just straight sh show you straight to gameplay. All right. All right. Uh, skip this. All right. All right. So here we are in game. So if you're having a uh, Having played this already, you basically unlock uh, stuff like this at the starting point of every mission. So you can, uh, you can find it. You can also take a rocket launcher. So, alright. Okay, can you quiet? Alright. I think um they use this screenshot in the and Nvidia uses use this uh scene to show you the, the difference between the PS4 version, PlayStation 4 version and the PC and the PC version. I think the main I think the main dif the main difference between the the console version and the PC version is that the Oh shit. And I've been spotted. So the main, uh, as I was saying, the main difference between the PC version and uh, the console version is that the draw distance is much better and there's more lights per scene. The lights feel more dynamic. But essentially, it's, it is the same game. Oh dear, I've been spotted. Alright, should I go loud? Speaking of going loud, this game is more fun than then when this game is uh, much better at doing like all out uh, guns a blazing combat than Metal Gear Solid 4 I actually haven't played much of Metal Gear Solid 4 maybe only the first act of it but already the the gameplay feels a lot more smoother and more fun to to play left trigger right trigger if you know what I mean so I'm gonna okay I think it's not still not safe for me to uh, mark my points here okay 
So let's uh, waypoint. Let's run down there and hope. That I'm gonna die here. And yes. Okay. Well, let's see if I can do it more stealthily this time. <laughs> All right. Okay. I think I will just keep the silence pistol. Uh, but I want I want a rocket launcher. So what you can do is hold by hold the binoculars. Okay, mark your targets like that. So gonna watch out for the lights. I'm gonna uh, hit it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here and see whether I can mark. Any targets? Map all the. All right. So let me just change my stance. Oh, sorry. Go to the map. This map. Gotta put one of them to sleep. Yep, it is down. I think this guy. It's down. It's down. Quiet. The controls will do, do take a while to get used to even even for as someone who played MGS4 before it does it still took me a while to learn how to roll. Although once you get the hang of it it is very smooth. Go. Cool. Alright, I suppose to hide these bodies but yeah. Yeah, right. Okay, I better run away. Go loud. Run. This game doesn't really punish us, doesn't really punish you for going loud, and that's a good, actually a good thing, actually. You can play. You can play like an action game, like Gears of War, or you can play, or you can play quiet. Okay, in this mission, you can. Oh come on! Can I? We are this. Yeah. Actually, not the weapons here. Do. It's more realistic in the sense it's not that accurate. So you have to fire in short burst, which is kind of cool. You, you can't really spray that much. Alright, let's look at. Uh... Okay, there's one guy down there. Should take him out to zoom in. Okay, gotta like call my chopper to call all right. Get us carry. Roger 
So you can choose to rescue as many prisoners as you can. And... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Or you can just choose to rescue the main guy. And actually, if you choose to rescue all the prisoners, and if you choose to just rescue Chico, which you're supposed to rescue, the cutscene will play a little bit differently, in that sense. And I'm gonna show you... I, I probably can't really show you both the scenarios here, but... Uh, you get the idea. It, I'll, I'll show you later. So let me just load this prisoner up into the chopper first. Okay. Okay, so that's one prisoner, the what, extra prisoner. So now I'm gonna rescue Chico and then I will probably jump into one of the side ops. Because uh, it's, it's pretty much spoilery for you. Okay, Chico is right here. So. Chico! Chico! Chico, it's me. No, no, go away. So if you if you did rescue, if you rescue only one of, if you rescue, oh wait, hang on, I think it doesn't show that. If you rescue all the other prisoners, the the other the other prisoners on the other end will not shout at you. In this case, it's only one prisoner. I think he's just shouting at uh snake. But if that if I didn't rescue that prisoner, we just that's adjacent to this cage, they both of yeah, the camera will basically go to them and shout and, and show them like you know say hey get me out of here yeah so it's I like I like that kind of dynamic dynamism it's very cool I got Chico and boss not here are you sure pretty sure is Chico able to walk hold on Ported his tendon so he can run. You'll have to carry him out there. Okay, boss, change your plans. Call Chico over to the rendezvous point. We'll get past his whereabouts out of him once he's calmed down. So, for some reason, I don't know why it's. When I'm recording this right now, it's starting just a little bit. Maybe it's because I'm record I'm recording my voice with Adobe Audition as well, so Oh no, I've been spotted. Yeah, silence him up. Let's get him out. Uh, in the meantime, let me just keep. Let me just call a helicopter first. Oh, yeah. I think I don't know whether it's the the this there's, there's a, a control scheme. Let me sorry, go to options, check the control tab because uh the pause menu is on the back button. Normally we are used to pressing the start button, so action type A. 
yeah, it's, it's surprisingly reverse. I thought that, uh, I thought that the pause button would be on the start button, but yeah, it's just you know, get get used to get used to it. Uh. Chico, where is Paz? She's dead. When was this recorded? She's dead. Okay, let me load him to the chopper. Come on, come on, is the chopper coming? Is the chopper coming? It's taking a long time. Oh, there you are. Patiently waiting for the chopper. Come on. I think it's... Yeah. Well, just go to call your chopper right after you picked up a prisoner, or you're gonna be just waiting, just sitting here waiting and doing nothing. Okay, come on, come on, load your. Okay, load him up. Okay. Track the Chico and this is a tape. Okay, I'm going to ah, uh, okay, I'm going to. Uh, Go back to the main menu. I'm gonna show you one of the side ops. Um, I think the one side op that is most fun, I think, is the one where you have to rescue uh, Intel. You have to someone have to rescue someone. Let me just let me just, show, let me just uh, yes, I would unbot. Okay, that was that mission. Yeah, Intel operative rescue. I think this is the mission that's pretty fun and quite action packed. But even though it's mostly sort of a turret se section where you're on the chopper and you just have to grab this guy and get out but there's something uh, special about about the guests that I think MGS fans would be very happy to know about or they probably know about it because they already played it on the console but I will just show it to you anyway we got, we got a request for extraction from a member of the intel team who is working undercover this is still a very good looking game, uh, as, as be honestly, and I'm very surprised. Okay, even some of the textures, yeah, they don't look very well up close, but the I think it looks great f at, at this at, and it's also considering that it's running at such a smooth frame rate, it's, re it's very impressive, the Fox engine. Can switch to my, I press. I can switch to my great launcher by pressing Y while holding the trigger. The left trigger. Up. You have to. This is not. This one you have to manually reload the great launcher. So you have to press B to reload. So it's not like wait after you fire it automatically reload. So it's not like Call of Duty and oh, most other shooters where you're used to this kind of thing. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. You know this this game also has very destructible environments. Look at that. You can basically destroy all these watchtowers, which is quite interesting. A certain as element of destructibility. Hmm. All right, stuff. Okay, let's destroy that. The rifle is equipped with an unparalleled grenade launcher. But it's a good 
Yes, I'm already using it. Thank you very much. Yeah, rocket launcher, guys. So we're supposed to extract that prisoner around there. Okay, don't shoot that thing. Shoot that's behind it. Oh, fell out of the cliff. Nice. Okay, so the guy is driving on his own. You know, I say, uh, when you're asking for $30 for this, it does sound a bit steep price considering it's just a single level, but See, if you consider it, if it's just the single level without all these side ops, yes, thirty dollars is way too much. Watch this. <laughs> uh, okay. So. You know when, when, first, when I shot that jeep, some uh, some sometimes when I shoot that jeep, it actually o overturns and hits that hits that guy. It looks kind of funny doing it. Rock solid 60. Okay, don't shoot that truck until until he reverses. I made the mistake of shooting that truck and the, and the truck exploded and killed him as well. Ah, uh, bow. The ragdoll physics. I think that the value of this of this package really comes in the whether you want to replay this game or made over and over again. Of course, there's on the surface level, it does the content level does seem a bit shallow, but there you think about it, there's actually a lot of stuff to explore. And if you consider that, and with at, at the current oh, at the current Steam sale at uh nineteen Sing Singapore dollars, actually is quite a good deal. Unless you're the kind of person that don't don't want to re, uh, don't really replay the game replay games that often, then maybe this may not be worth your money, uh, Yeah. Otherwise, the gameplay itself is very very superb and well polished and very fun, very smooth. The gameplay is very very smooth. And it's a, I think so, I don't know. It's I can I can say maybe it's a bit it's, it's improved over MGS4 by quite a bit. MGS4 does feel a bit stiff, but and it's not as fun to play when you are going uh, guns are blazing. But this, this is fun to play just to go just shoot just shooting guys up. for guys oh come on oh there you are okay there's a scope Okay, come on. To sprint, I think the the I like the idea that to sprint you actually click the left stick, so it just feels like Call of Duty. Just yeah, you so it, it's a basically I like I like the it's the modernization of 
uh, the gameplay. Okay, get out. And I'll just run and grab him. To our corner. This guy to here. Okay, you wait right here. Let's grab this our rocket launcher. Where is that? Come here. Down? All right. Okay. Scrap. Come on. Okay. Rest. Run. In. Run. 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 Spread. Once again, the stuttering is coming a bit. Bad. I don't know why. It's maybe it's fraps. Usually, when I'm playing, already doesn't happen. But yeah. Okay. Got rocket launcher there. Okay. Okay, I think that's a chopper. Alright, there you are. So I played this uh played this game on my home theater setup and ge it's generally also a very good sub. Again, needless to say it uses a subwoofer which is a good thing because MGS4 does it. But uh although I would say that explosions don't really uh, didn't really have that deep bass that I was expected but from the LFE channel but generally like stuff like thunder thunder sound effects all that stuff actually still sounds very very good. Sometimes I think some music also use the LFE channel as well, so that's about it. Get some of the home theater stuff out of the way. Yep, but this is this is definitely a, definitely a game that you want to use to show off your home theater as well. And try and look at who is that. I think MGS fans will probably recognize what what face is that. For those of you who don't know that, is the, the face of Hideo Gojima, who is the design game design director of all the Metal Gear Solid series. Including this game, this this is said to be Metal Gear Solid Five. Is said also said to be uh, Hideo Kojima's uh, so-called last MGS game, but he also said that, that when he made MGS Four. So I kind of know whether it's believable or not. What took you so long? All right, so that's a quick look at. Uh, at Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zero is now available on PC. It's a very good PC port. If you have a gamepad, play with a gamepad. And yeah, it should run on even old systems. So uh, performance shouldn't be much of a problem. Alright, thanks for watching.